It's the Potters versus the Villains. Mark Hughes versus Paul Lambert as another Premier League campaign gets underway at the Britannia Stadium. Always a special sense of excitement in the air, a spine-tingling anticipation ahead of the coming nine months. Our first pre-match show of the season features an interview with Austrian striker Andy Weiman and a look back at the sensational opening day of 12 months ago as Arsenal were put to the sword in their own backyard. We also analyse the opposition in the company of a man who's back from his own summer break. Froggy, great to see you again. Tough start this, isn't it? Yes, yeah. But like everybody else, I'm hugely excited, you know, full of optimism as ever before the start of a Premier League season and hoping you know, we can get off to the sort of start we did last term. Stoke had an incredible year, finishing ninth. They've made some smart signings, not least Bojan. Yeah, Mark Hughes did a, a fabulous job last year. And as we know to our cost, you know, they came here and, and did a number on us at Villa Park where they were very, very impressive on the day. And he's brought in some really interesting players and no, no more so than this kid. You know, one of the hottest properties in European football only six or seven years ago, still only 23 years of age. He's played for some top clubs. He's been in great form in pre-season. Um, yeah, somebody we definitely need to watch ahead of the weekend because he is a real talent, the boy. Yeah, he makes things happen on the pitch. There's Bill Bardsley, who we're going to talk about as well, and Steve Sidwell, two former villains. Stephen Ireland's in the shake-up. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of villains uh, at, at the, the Potteries, aren't they? So it's always a difficult game. Whenever you go to, I always remember as a player, you go to the Britannia Stadium, you know there's, there's quite a passionate home crowd there. It's very vocal. Um, it can be quite windy there as well, so conditions aren't, aren't always easy. We wish to get the ball down and play football, but Stoke do now. It's not like you know years ago where you were, you were sort of watching the game like that all the way yeah. through and getting a bit of a neck ache. They play football now, so at least Villa can go into the game with, with the knowledge that it's going to be a footballing game, um, and, and I think that gives us a, a chance, especially with all, all, you know, the, the newfound experience we've got within our squad, which I think will be a real benefit for us. Yeah, you mentioned that newfound experience. There's a buzz around Villa Park at the moment as well with the four signings, all established players who, who play for big clubs. We've got the three men who come back in and Zolbia, Bent and, and Hutton and Roy Keane in the coaching setup. It's, it's all looking bright. It is, and Roy Keane, I think that's one of, I think one of the key signings for Villa this summer because I know the players are important, but your coaches, your manager and all the staff are equally vital to make all the cogs work together to get it right. And I think Roy's, Roy will bring something totally unique and different to our football club. And we'll give you know the, the the kids and the senior players a real insight on you know winning. It's that winning mentality, mm. and it's something I think we've lacked for a couple of years due to maybe a lack, lack of experience. When you look at the, the teams we fielded the last two years, not huge amount of experience. They've sort of been learning their mistakes as they've gone along. This year, we've got some genuine pedigree Premier League players who've played there for a long, long time, who know the ropes, who know how to deal with certain situations. And obviously with the experience of Roy in the background as well. You know, I, I, I think defensively we'll be much better this season. Mm. We may struggle for goals until the big man comes back. But I think I, think I, I, I can see us getting mid-table jack this year. Um, we, we, we reached the, the dizzy heights of 10th last year before we picked up a couple of injuries. I think people forget that. Even though when mm. they look where we ended up, we did get to 10th place and were comfortably in 10th place for a while before things started going wrong a wee bit. So... Um, you know, I, I go into every season optimistic because I believe until you have your first five games, you've no idea as a football club how you're going to go. You could be brilliant in pre-season and lose your first yeah. five games. You could be awful in pre-season and win your first five games. So the, my, I'll be really positive and see how we get in the first few games of the season and then we can sort of pan out how, we, how we're going to get on during the course of the season. After the first three, we have five really tough games. So yeah. we need to pick up points if we can. Great stuff. Much more to come from Steve Frogger. Make sure you join us then as Villa looks to hit the ground running. Fingers crossed for a good result. Can't wait to experience the fantastic away support as well, which really can make a difference.